Tonight we are on your side tackling a topic hitting the valley hard. We're talking about home and rent affordability. New data from a recent Harvard study shows across the country half of renters cannot afford housing. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live in Huntsville. Daquan, increasing rent prices spell trouble for people who have lived here their whole life, where people who are moving to the Tennessee Valley are now think they're getting a pretty good deal. No one, there's a general guideline to housing that says you shouldn't spend more than 30% of your monthly income on rent and utilities. However, that target is getting harder and harder to hit for people living in the Tennessee Valley. New data from a recent Harvard study reveals it has never been harder to find affordable housing, even here in Alabama. In Huntsville, two out of five renters are spending more than 30% of their monthly income on rent and utilities. For lower income families, it's leaving them with less and less money once the bills are paid. Just looking at that lower income group of households making less than $30,000 a year, those households had a median of just $310 left over every month after they're paying for rent and utilities, which if you think about it is staggering. That is not a lot of money. That's an all time low. High interest rates in the housing market play a factor in poor renter affordability as well. Even if you were looking to buy a house, high interest rates are forcing would be homeowners to reconsider. It's also forcing developers to raise rent prices to break even. We're seeing at a minimum, a 21% increase in um, property insurance at these properties. And so you, the rents have got to keep pace with the increase in the operating expenses. Mary Ellen Judah is the executive director of Neighborhood Concepts, a local nonprofit that deals with housing issues. She's not shocked by the data and says there are ways to fight for better housing costs. We rely solely on the federal government for our housing expense and our housing dollars. And so the state's got to recognize that, that this is something that the state's got to get involved in. And so, you know, that doesn't help the person who can't find a place to live right now. But I think the more we tell those stories and the more we raise awareness of this, the more we're going to see folks starting to address the issue. And if struggling to find affordable housing is something that you've struggled with, we want to hear your story. If a, a landlord has raised your rent to something you can't afford, reach out to us. We want to hear it. If you go online to our website at WAFF.com and find this story, you'll find my email attached to this byline. Reporting live in Huntsville, Daquan Lee, WAFF 48 News on your side.